Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm so grateful that you guys are here. I look a little crazy right now because I don't have any blush on. And that is so hard for me to look at because I'm a blush girl. What we're gonna do today is play with some blushes. Recently, Natasha Denona came out with these puff paints liquid blushes. And this is so hard to see without blush on. Anyway, she came out recently with these Puff Paint liquid blushes. There's three different colors. And from what I understand, from what she said, these are shades that she has in some of her iconic blush palettes. So lucky for us, I actually have the cream blush palettes that she used. And I figured we'd do some swatches. We kind of take a look at the different products. And if you guys have them in your collection, or if you're more interested in one formula versus the other. Hopefully this will give you some information to help make the decision. I am not a makeup artist. I am not an industry professional. I'm just a lover of makeup and uh, I'm not even a professional YouTuber. So there you go. Just so you guys know, I already have the Fenty Ease Drop skin tint, whatever going on. It's maybe a little light, truth be told, but I figured this is something that a lot of people would be using right now because it's a relatively new release. And, and when I first tried on the Natasha Denona puff paints, I was wearing the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer because I think those are just the time of year. It's, it's the time of year for lightweight and not heavy mask like. Okay, so let me swatch here first. We're going to swatch and I'll try to zoom in too, but this is the first shade and that's called Daria. She says that was from the Love palette, but I don't, I don't see the shade on here. So we're going to grab the super glow from here and I'll swatch it right next to the puff paint and Daria. And as you can see, it is way more shimmery rose gold similar in tones i'm like i could see wearing them together i'm gonna grab the glow cream base right next to it and i think the glow cream base is one that you use you put down first and then you tap over it with some of the other like more metallic -y, powdery ones the the base is a cream so keep that in mind. This, however, this is from the Valentine's collection. This is the Love Cheek Duo. This is different than the Love Glow. This is the one that came out in 2021, whereas the Love Glow came out in 2020. So this is the shade that I think is closer, and it is so much more pigmented compared to the Daria Puff Paint. It's a lot more pigmented. pigmented. Yeah, it's a lot more cool toned. So if you picked up this blush duo, that's your match, or at least it's closer to it. It's not a, it's not an exact match. There you go, there's your answer, it's an exact match. However, she does say that it is um, also in the Diamond and Blush palette. I have both Diamond and Blush palettes. This one is the Diamond Blush 01 palette, and I think this is the blush that's right here. So, even though she says it's the same color, when I swatch it, it's not. It's a little bit more lighter and more cool than the the one that's in the Love palette. And I think that the Daria that's in the Puff Paint is a little warmer. Let's grab the powder too while we're at it. That is significantly lighter, almost, almost just a plain highlighter, not even really a blush, unless you're of the fairest type here. Okay, then the other one that's the O2, this one has also very similar shades in it. So we're gonna grab the cream in here. Put that one right here. That is the one that's in the O2 palette. And honestly, this, this is your dupe. So the this blush right here, the darkest cream formula in here in the O2 Diamond and Blush palette that's your dupe. So let's take a look at those. Don't you love when we do these, like kind of ad hoc? Let's do this on the back of the hand so it's a little bit easier too. So there's a little bit of the puff paint. And then let's grab the Diamond and Glow palette. We'll do the darkest shade in here. And that will go right next to it. And I think if you buff it out a little bit, you get a closer shade to the puff paint. Those are your dupes. Do I think that they're exact dupes? Nope. Do I think that they're close-ish? Sure. Yeah, I can see where she's going with it. 
Okay, let's go into the Bloom. This is the Bloom Puff Paint. And we're gonna do the same thing we did before, which I'm gonna swatch it on my arm. And that is such a pretty, bold color. This is the Bloom Quad Palette. She does have a uh, protector over the cream formulas, but this is that. This is the palette, when I first got this, I was like, I can't use this as a blush. But if you look at it, that is such a close match. There you go. There's your close match. So I'm going to actually, we're going to swatch this on the back of my hand too, right next to the Daria's. So we've got the blooms right here, right here next to it. And if you tap it out a little bit, you can see it's very, very, very similar. I probably did the swatches. I don't, I don't do swatches, you guys. None of the other uh, palettes that I have are actually very, that, are that similar to that bloom. So those are, those are the two. And I think those are the actual good matches. I think she, that's actually the right one. The last one, the last puff paint that she gave us was tan, almost like a apricot color. And this is the tan palette. This to me doesn't really look like it. You've got this dark kind of like a contrary bronzery kind of color and then you've got these two shimmers. So we're going to grab the base first. The base is so much more shimmery. Glow powder right next to it, which is more of your bronzy highlighter. We'll grab the darkest shade in here, much more of a cool tone shade. So I don't find that this is a dupe for the tan. I do have the bronze palette for fun. So the first one I think is kind of close is going to be the Bounce Cream Blush. And we'll swatch it right next to it. This is from the bronze palette, not from the tan palette. I think that's your closest one. It's not actually even from the tan palette. I think it's from the uh, bronze palette. So I'm going to grab the swatches for that and we'll do it on the back of my hand across the knuckles. You're going to get a lot more texture. Sorry. And it is very, very shiny. And then let's grab the tan puff paint right next to it. Those are your closest matches. Let's play around with them a little bit here. One of the things I did in my uh, first video when I first tried these on, I first got them in and I was so excited and thank you guys for everybody that watched it, is I discovered that what I liked most about the puff paints was applying it with a brush and I liked layering all of them together. So we're going to do something similar. We're going to actually do the originals on one side or what I think are the originals and we'll do the puff paints on the other. I'm going to start with tan because this is my favorite shade that she released. And like I said, I do really like applying it with uh, a brush. I think it spreads out a little bit better. Look how pretty that is. I'm a blush abuser. I'm admittedly a blush abuser. And what I love about this formula, as opposed to the other liquids and well, not so much the creams, because I think you can control the creams, but the, the liquid formulas, I feel like they get all over the place. And this, I I feel like I can control this a little bit better. That is so pretty. And for somebody who uses a lot of blush, that's saying something. I'm going to go in with the cream in the bronze palette. This is the blush and glow. It's a little bit more shimmery, honestly. It's so pretty. I tend to keep really, really shimmery stuff out of my texture. That actually looks pretty, pretty similar, doesn't it? Okay. So that's tan and I, I like them tan with the bronze cheek. For me, the next color is going to be bloom. So we'll take bloom on the back side, all the way up here a little bit. And I'm going to use the same brush, color pop brush. And it's small and it helps me kind of control the placement of that blush a little bit. This is so bold when, when you look at it on your hand or when you swatch it, but it really does buff out sheer. So on this side, we're going to go into the bloom palette. We'll grab that dark cream blush in here, right here called bloom. I grab, pick up some of that color and I don't, why did I tap? There's no fallout. It's a cream blush. I think I probably picked up too much. So I'm going to flip the brush over and buff that out a little bit. 
when I first got this palette, I was like, I don't know what to do with these colors. I don't think that they really work for my skin tone. And then I watched some of the videos. And if you guys don't follow her on Instagram, Instagram and YouTube, and then she does tutorial videos on her website as well. You, you get an understanding more of how to use it. And I've been kind of like, hey, if you have to teach me how to use it, should I be using it? Because I'm old AF and I, I don't, I think I shouldn't know how to use products right now. Okay, I'm going to uh, put a little bit more on the side and kind of tap it out with my finger. And I have been doing a lot more of this blush placement a little higher up to lift my face. So that's the bloom on that side. And then we have the bloom puff paint on this side. I did have to go in with two layers on one side and not the other. But I also did pick up a boatload of product over here that I didn't need to do. The last two shades are the Daria. So we're going to grab the puff paint over here. And this one I keep up a little. Oh, I started saying something and then I lost my train of thought. The formula on these puff paints is so, so nice. They're like, um, it's not the opacity. It's not the pigment. It's the consistency is a, a serum. It is so hydrating and has such beautiful ingredients that make it, makes your skin just look so healthy and moisturized and just that flush of color. How pretty is that? That's the, com that's the combination of summer right there. The tan as a base, bloom up here and a little of the Daria to kind of brighten things up a little bit. Love it. And we'll just buff that in. We're just kind of stippling that on. And as you can see, I feel like it's, and this is a bigger brush. I probably should have used a smaller brush. I feel like my face looks a lot more fuller over here than it does on this side. It's just much more of a soft, subtle, almost imperceptible wash of color. Whereas this is more like, hey, you've got your blush moment. You're, you're, you're blushing. I feel like this cheek is so much more plumper. And this is just a wash. I personally feel like these are very easy to control, but you're not going to get the opacity. It's much more translucent, much more of a sheer formula, but it feels so good on your skin. The cream formulas, I think if you are somebody who you want to go in and you want to be able to see your blush, then the cream formulas in her original palettes are the way to go. So there we go. Got the combination of both of them with my Wayne Goss eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope this was informative and useful in some way. I do feel like the creams are obviously heavier. I think that the, the, the sheer puff paints are the way to go for the summer. This is hot girl summer to me. This is extra. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for being here. Feel free to subscribe. Click that little like button. Interact with me. Let me know what kind of content do you guys just like to see? Do you like to see comparison videos? Do you like to see dupe videos? Do you like to see application videos? I can't get every new release that comes out I got to tell you the the last few times I've done pre-order on the Natasha Denona site, they've come to my house the day they've launched in stores, which makes me super excited because I don't get anything in PR. So yeah, I'm going to uh, take this out. I'm going to film some other stuff. I'm super excited about some things that I have coming up. So I wish you guys nothing but love and happiness, and I hope you're doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.